Hello there, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. I tried to film like 17 other videos today, um, and by tried to, I mean I literally laid on the floor staring up at the ceiling thinking I should really do something with my life and with my day, but I couldn't, and I haven't been able to in days because uh, my old friend, who's not a friend, depression has come visiting. The dark cloud has settled over me, and um, things are getting progressively harder every day as it sort of uh, sinks its teeth in. And I wanted to do two things today. First of all, I wanted to show you what this looks like for me, and then also mention a thing or two about surviving, uh, not what we normally hear about it. I should be working right now. I should be um, editing things. I got done with my normal job earlier and now's my time to, that I need to work on this stuff and I haven't been able to in days because I think everything I could possibly say is worthless and meaningless and boring and why would anyone care to listen? And uh, as far as what it actually physically looks like, I have a full face of makeup on. It's a few hours old and gray, <clears throat> whatever this is, sweater. And then I have athletic shorts on because I was too exhausted to change out of the rest of my clothing. I got the pants done, but I couldn't do the rest of it. Stumbled my way downstairs and just plopped everything down here and I'm watching some absolute trash TV in the form of The Bachelor. That that you see right there, that, that, that purple open bag is kettle corn that I'm eating because I don't have any other food in the house. Um, I haven't really eaten all day because that takes too much energy. I really think sometimes we demonize unhealthy coping mechanisms and then it gets really overwhelming because when you're depressed or when you're dealing with some kind of mental health issue, trying to do the right thing is exhausting. Trying to do anything is exhausting. And so if I sit here and I think I should go to the grocery store, I should get good food, I should go to that thing I said I was going to go to tonight, I should not watch trash TV that's probably not great for my mind. I should clean my house up and put real freaking pants on and what, I don't even know what all these things are. My house is a mess and the floors are covered in dirt from the dogs. I should, I should clean my house. That'd make me feel better. I should go outside with my dogs. But something that my, my therapist and I talked about a lot is the fact that coping, however you need to cope for a short period of time, isn't wrong. Like if I cannot get out of the house, that's okay. If I need to lay here for four hours with a heating pad on and watch mindless crap, is that particularly good for me? No. But is it bad? No. If it's how I'm gonna make it to the end of today without sobbing or getting self-destructive, if all I can do is sit here the rest of the day half-dressed, full face of makeup still on, sitting in darkness with my dogs around me, that's okay. I think we underestimate how much energy surviving is. Like I got up this morning and I did all the right things. I got up on time and I had kind of breakfast, not really. Um, I exercised, I listened to a book before getting on social media or anything like that. I took a shower, I got ready for the day and the entire time I was just feeling progressively horrible, progressively, miserably worse, and so hopeless and dead and depressed. I wonder that we all don't put too much pressure on ourselves sometimes to cope the right way. There are healthy coping mechanisms and there are not healthy ones, and I think this is all a within reason sort of thing. Like, I'm not talking about, if doing meth helps you, just, you know, go ahead and do it. No, but within reason. If I'm zoning out and scrolling through social media for an hour and a half, I know that's not good for my mind, but if that's what I need to do for a day to make it through, that's okay. I don't think that there's any shame in that. If I need to stay here on this couch the rest of the night, if I cannot do anything, if I'm just here almost in tears just from how I feel, that's okay. You don't have to cope the right way. You don't have to deal with depression, depression the right way because there isn't a right way. It's, it's what's gonna get you through. And I think it's a process of progressively incorporating more and more things that are um, better for us and are gonna get us in a healthier mindset faster. But I don't know about you, I sometimes get caught in this spiral of being like, I need to do all of the right things to get to a better place. And that just gets me to a worse place because I'm failing doing those right things because I can't think, I can't speak, I can't move. I guess what I'm saying here is there's no shame 
and survival. There's no shame in coping however you need to cope and taking care of yourself and canceling commitments and maybe not going outside for a day if you just can't. If you hear all that munching, it's the dogs eating food in the background, but I hope I've made it clear on my channel that I am all about good mental health strategies and um, healthy ways of dealing with things and moving forward, but I think sometimes I get so caught up in all of the shoulds, what I should do, what's the healthiest thing to do, I end up just crippling myself because I can't I can't do it, I can't check all the boxes, and I feel like a failure anyways. There isn't a perfect or right way to deal with depression, and I get so caught up in trying to do it right that I just feel so much worse about myself. I just feel like absolute crap, because I already feel like I'm failing, and then I feel like I'm failing at trying to not fail, and then I just end up hating myself. And that's no way to live, that's no way to get through this. It takes enough freaking energy to exist through depression and fight through it that I'm not gonna worry about doing everything right. I'm gonna worry about doing two things right. First one is making it to the end of today. I'm gonna do that. And then the second one is I'm going to reach out to someone and let them know what's going on. I'm going to talk to my friend and my husband and just be like, hey, things are really dark. Those are both healthy things to do. And I'm gonna do those things today. And aside from that, I'm gonna say it's okay to sit on the couch and do nothing and not worry about trying to do things right because I don't think there's a right way to survive. I don't think there's a right way to get through things. You just get through them the best you can. And hopefully maybe do a tiny little bit better every time. A really important piece of this for me is that there's a difference between coping and processing in the middle of depression or anxiety or a panic attack or fill in the blank. That's coping, it's doing what we need to survive and like slowly improving on those things, slowly figuring out what's what's best for us. But then there's processing after. So as I come through this, continuing to invest in my mental health, continuing to invest in self-awareness and what I can do to better take care of myself. But that's hard work and I don't need to worry about that kind of hard work when I am trying to breathe. I need to worry about breathing. I need to focus my energy on that and getting through, just fighting through and existing. And that doesn't always look pretty and that doesn't always look right. And I put a lot of shame and blame and judgment on myself when I'm not doing everything the right way, when I'm really, really struggling. And I wanna stop doing that because I'm exhausted and I wanna keep breathing and I'm gonna keep breathing and Right now, this is what <laughs> that looks like for me. My sweet Sophie, she takes really good care of me. So I'm gonna lay back down. I'm gonna watch some trashy TV shows with my sweet little puppies. I need some more popcorn and probably get Brian to bring me some real food later. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are taking care of yourself, whatever that looks like for you. I hope you're hanging in there, and I'll hang in there too, and we'll get through it together. Thanks for listening, guys. I love you. I'm thinking about you. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. When the seamless child start to sing Have her from the sky Hold about it Down the river high tide